Hey YouTube, gonna give you a quick little uh, demo on how to properly service an electrical connector. Uh, when dealing with these dirt bikes and four wheelers, and especially it's it's any electrical connector, but especially on these, if this is packed full of mud and dirt down here, there's no way you can release it to get the connector apart. Are you with me on that? And you newer techs, what I want to recommend is that you're always if you're unsure how to get a connector apart, because even service manuals aren't really super clear on these, is especially in, in dealerships or whatnot, go grab a brand new one that hasn't uh, has been wired in yet, and then you can look at the locking mechanism a lot easier to see how to release the tabs or how it actually functions. Uh, I think a lot of times people just start pulling on stuff, and if I pull the wires out of the socket, I'm definitely gonna hurt the integrity of that and it's going to be a hot mess, right? So if you're struggling taking this apart, what I like to do is get yourself a toothbrush. I always save my old ones. I throw them in a, a box underneath the, uh, the bathroom sink. Soak this thing up really good with, you know, even just soapy water works well. Brush. Clean that out. You have to get space back behind here. Okay, you have to get that crap out of there so that it can work backwards so that it can actually release from the other connector and then be able to pull it apart okay the thing I really want to warn against is compressed air uh, I'm, I'm using I'm it's common for me to use compressed air obviously I want to be able to blow some of that out but I gotta think about where I'm blowing am I gonna wedge it in deeper so you have to have some intent when you use the compressed air to think about because like in here that's sealed on the other side of it okay Ideally, it's sealed. Okay, this has a weather packing piece in there, so I want—I don't really want to blow inside of these connectors and actually wedge dirt in the bottom. Otherwise, you got to think about when you try to put it together. If I've actually wedged dirt into the bottom of that connector, now it's shorter than it's really supposed to be. And can you bet that the locking tab will never lock? Yeah, you, you bet it will. Might have to get Q-tips down in here, do something, but without a doubt, these connectors need to be good and cleaned. Once I clean that and have it really good, then I'm gonna use dielectric grease in all my electrical connectors. I'm gonna go ahead and service this connector, and then what you'll see when I get done is I'm gonna take it apart and put it together multiple times, just checking the integrity of that locking tab and just verifying my work. You'll see here I'm firmly placing my hands uh, on each connector, you know, locking it in, hearing the click, and then verifying that it won't pull apart. I mean, it can be very deceiving. You'll think it looks locked, and it's not. You have to actually try to break it apart. On this particular connector, I could take it apart so easy now when it was correct. I mean, it just slips out like butter, right? You also saw where I grabbed each side of the connector and pulled on it to try and test the integrity. And I'm making sure that that tab will engage. I mean, what are you going to do if you work on one where the tab's broke and you, you can't get the connector? Then you need to think about how you can secure with a zip tie or, you know, electrical tape or something to make sure that that's not going to vibrate apart. Look at this real quick here. You see where that wire looks like it's been pinched? So someone's probably had a zip tie or cable tie on here when it was tucked underneath and they had it way too tight. You know, if they secure this too tight with a zip tie and just weld that thing, it, it can cause that pinch there. It's another reason that typically you're never going to find zip ties around wires like this. You're going to find it more around harnesses um, or some type of clip or something that can retain the connector itself. I mean, it's a dirt bike. This thing needs to be secured, right? I can't stress enough to be diligent in your craftsmanship and uh, taking all these little steps. I mean, it just makes it better for you next time, better for the next tech. It'll be better for the customer. Um, so take the time. It's worth it. Make it a great day. Keep wrenching. If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.